Welcome to the 30-Minute Yoga for Low Back Pain. My name is Sarah Beth, and this All Levels practice will be in in a child's pose. From your hands and knees, separate your knees as wide as comfortable. Bring your big toes together behind you. Sink your hips to your heels, and with your arms out long and relaxed in front of you, rest your forehead on the mat. Observe your breath slow down and deepen as you breathe in and out through your nose. Feel your back, hips, and thighs relax. Slowly rise into a tabletop on your hands and knees. For a cow pose, drop your belly and lift your chin and take a big breath in. As you breathe out, round your spine and tuck your chin for a cat back. Get your whole spine involved. Inhale to cow pose, belly drops, chest opens, chin lifts. As you exhale, cat back, round your whole spine. One more time, inhale, cow pose. Then exhale, cat back. Come back to a neutral spine. Walk your hands forward six more inches, then curl your toes under and reach your hips high and back for downward facing dog. Alternate bending your knees to warm up your legs and press your chest towards your thighs for a long spine. Separate your feet mat distance and walk your hands to the back of your mat for a ragdoll fold. Give a generous bend to your knees so you fold deeper from your hips. Grab your elbows and hang heavy or sway side to side. The idea here is to release any unnecessary tension. So swaying or bobbing or just breathing as you release and relax is all you need to do here. Release your elbows and walk your hands forward. Then lower down onto your knees, then all the way down onto your belly to set up for a low cobra. With your hands planted on the mat, elbows pointing up to the ceiling, zip your legs and feet together and use the strength of your core and back to lift your chest up off the mat. Ideally, there is a lightness in your hands and your neck is long, reaching through the crown of your head. Feel your belly pushing into the mat and the strength in your legs and back. Then gently release and take your time as you press up and back into a child's pose. Knees wide and arms long. Let your whole body relax and observe your breath creating space in your lower back. Rise up and make your way to downward facing dog. Use the strength of your core to step your right foot to the top of your mat outside of your right hand 
So you may need to grab your ankle with your hand and pull it up. Make sure your right knee is stacked above your right ankle and with both hands planted inside of your right foot for a runner's lunge. You can stay active with your back knee lifting as you drive through your back heel. Or at any point, you can lower your back knee down to the mat and let your head hang heavy for a more yin style posture. Wherever you are, stay present by noticing any connection between your smooth, slow breath and the sensation you feel as tension leaves your hips. Even relax your jaw, shoulders, and the muscles in your hands. See if you can sink a little deeper. Mindfully, make your way back to Downward Facing Dog. You can always rest in a tabletop in between as a modification. And when you're ready, use your core to step your left foot up outside of your left hand. Again, you can grab your ankle to pull it up so your knee is stacked above your ankle. Then with both hands planted inside of your left foot, Find a similar variation that you took on the other side. Deepen your breath and relax as you release tension. Make sure you're not replacing the tension in your hips anywhere else in the body. So pay attention to the muscles in your face, neck, shoulders. And anytime you feel any resistance, just remember, let go. Come back to downward facing dog and pedal out your legs. Now come forward and lower down to your belly for low cobra. Legs up together, peel your chest up. Keep your elbows locked behind you and your neck long. Continue to breathe. Gently release and press up and back into a child's pose. Relax everything at once. And we'll do that two more times to strengthen the muscles in your back, building better posture and muscle memory. Make your way to downward facing dog. 
With a gentle bend in both knees, you can tilt your tailbone high and reach your hips back. Now come forward and lower down to your belly for low cobra. Peel up, but keep the tops of your feet pressing down. This is all back and core. You can assist with your hands, but try not to use all arms and hands. Release and press up and back into a child's pose. Send your breath into your lower back. One more time. Find down dog. With a nice long spine. Then come forward and with strength, lower down to your belly for low cobra. This time the hands might hover or if you're feeling a little fatigued, you can rest them on the mat. Then gently release and press up and back into a child's pose. Deepen your breath. and make your way back to downward facing dog. With a long spine and a gentle bend in both knees. Now walk your feet to the top of your mat and separate your feet about mat distance. Take your time as you slowly lower your hips down into Malasana, yogi squat. It's okay if your toes splay open and you can always place props underneath your heels like a rolled up mat if your heels keep peeling up. Just make sure that your hips are low and take the rounding out of your back by lifting up through your heart. With your hands together at heart center, you can use your elbows to keep your knees splaying open. Then soften all the tension in your upper body as you rest in your hips and lower back. For a forward fold, just lift your hips. Use your hands to support and feel free to maintain a bend in your knees as you hang heavy. Mindfully, take a seat on your mat and come to lie down on your back for a bridge pose. To set up, pull your heels in close and place your feet about hip distance apart. Scoop your tailbone up to the ceiling and lift your hips with strong, stable legs. As your spine peels up, anchor your weight down through your shoulders, forearms, and all the edges of your feet. Keep your knees pressing forward the whole time, and with just as much strength, slowly lower your hips back down. Then bring the soles of your feet together, 
and let your knees fall open for Supta Baddha Konasana. Take one hand to your belly and the other to your heart. Gently close your eyes, relax your jaw, and with each exhale, feel your whole body soften. Draw your navel in and pull your knees together, feet flat on the mat. For a figure four, place your right ankle on your left thigh, just below your knee. You can stay here and even push your right knee open or go deeper by threading your hands through your legs to interlace underneath your left thigh or shin. Find a position where you can relax, so your shoulders can ground into the mat, and just appreciate sensation as tension slowly melts from your right hip, glute, and piriformis. Again, be mindful not to replace tension anywhere else in the body. Everything can relax. Gently release and switch sides. Left ankle to your right thigh, just below your knee. Stay here or go deeper if you did on the other side and take your time as your body relaxes and softens into place. If this specific posture feels really good for you, consider adding it in more regularly into your practice, perhaps figure four up the wall, half pigeon, or even seated figure four when you're working. The more often you move yourself into positions like this, the more your body can respond. Gently release, pull both knees into your chest and separate them wider towards your shoulders. Thread your hands between your knees to grab onto your feet and gently open your ankles for a happy baby pose. Rocking side to side can feel good, but so can staying still and slowly relaxing into place. Just take what works for you. Release your happy baby. 
pull your knees back into your chest and roll over onto your left side. Keep your knees tucking in close, like a little ball. Then reach your right arm up to the ceiling and slowly lean back as you open up into a twist. Unstack your shoulders and eventually the ground behind you might catch and support your right arm. Relax any unnecessary tension and feel your breath move in and out of this posture. As if your breath were massaging your body from the inside out. Curl your right arm back in. Keep your knees tucking in close and roll onto your back. Then roll onto your right side and stay tight in a tiny little ball. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling and take your time as you open up into your twist. Observe your breath and any new sensation as you release tension that you don't need and relax into place. Curl your left arm back in and use your core strength to roll onto your back. Hold your knees to your chest for a full wind pose. This is a relaxed posture, so keep the back of your neck long and your shoulders grounding. No need to force your legs, but instead, just hold them into place. And if it's more comfortable, you can even separate your knees a little wider. As you breathe in and out through your nose, feel your belly expand and contract. Feel your ribs flare into your back and feel your middle back soften with each exhale. The real magic in this pose happens over time. So rest and relax 
as you observe your breath and sensation. Whenever you're ready, gently release your legs for Shavasana. Extend your legs out long down on the mat, or place a pillow underneath your knees for some low back support if at any point you're feeling strain or tension. Then extend your arms out long and relaxed. Close your eyes, but soften your eyelids. Release your jaw and the muscles around your mouth. And with each exhale, feel your whole body soften and become heavy. as if you were melting through the floor beneath you. Begin to deepen your breath and wiggle out your fingers and toes. Then one at a time, pull your knees into your chest and roll over onto one side. Using your hands, Press yourself up to seated and bring your hands together at heart center. Self-care is a great spiritual act. A practice that reflects heavily off of your mat. So thank yourself for practicing self-care today. And I thank you. Namaste. I've got a ton of other videos for back pain, including yoga for sciatica, yoga for scoliosis, and shorter videos that you can implement into your weekly routines. Click the link on screen or down below for the entire playlist. And don't forget to subscribe for new uploads every Friday. Please comment down below if you enjoyed this practice and share with anyone else who might like it too. Have a good day.